Hi, I'm that real, actual, literal human jawbone that lives on a shelf in your boiler room your father acquired one day as a teenager while living in a different country, because white people are just kind of like that. Duke. We're calling this a get ready with me. So the, the actual, the actual step zero of this entire thing is we're going to try a different camera, which is to say, it's a Samsung. I'm recording this on a phone, on a little tripod, because... My options are a thing my friend loaned me, which is a real camera, and I appreciate that. But also it turns out it does not have auto refocus during videos, so get excited for that uh, b-roll vlog at some point when I'm done editing it, because video editing is not a thing I have talent for, and I should have gotten a tiny mirror. No, wait, we're actually just going to use the palette mirror real quick, and that's filthy. That needs, that needs more. So the actual step one of this get ready with me is that I did skin off camera because it's 2019, we all know how to put foundation on, I don't think I'm bringing anything new or interesting or revolutionary. Nobody needs to see me struggle with a sponge for five minutes while I finagle right up around the bridge piercing. I don't know what I'm doing, at least with, uh, not with cameras. I do know what I'm doing with makeup, which is to say, whatever I want, because I'm here to have fun. And hopefully you're having fun too. So, uh, let's... You know, this is, this is, this is good enough for now. We'll, we'll come back to this later once the rest of this... I feel really terrible using this palette as like my mirror because it feels like, oh yeah, I'm flexing. I'm really not. It's just what I have on hand. And these colors look so good. Ooh. Ooh. That was a mistake. That I don't think I want to bring that in so far, but whatever. There's glitter later. It'll fix everything. Glitters. This, this sort of genre of purple always kind of makes it look like, oh yeah, you've been punched in the eye. Just horrible, bruisey sort of colors. Why is this mirror like this? Why are you so st What is that? What? Ms. McGrath. Mother. Mother, why? I guess another important thing is like, we're getting ready with me. What am I getting ready for exactly? That's an excellent question. Tonight is a intergenerational... Tonight is a intergenerational queer open microphone storytelling experience, which I am incredibly excited for, despite the fact that it's a Monday. Like, of course it's Monday. <laughs> I'm super excited for this because, quite frankly, a big issue I had when I was youth on the internet. I mean, arguably I'm still a youth on the internet, but it's getting a little weird because time marches on and what I think is happening and what's actually happening is not necessarily the same thing. I, an issue that I had as youth on the internet and youth on the internet still continue to have, specifically LGBT youth, there's a severe disconnect between the lived experiences of the older queer generations and the younger queer generations. A severe generational disconnect between the young gays the young LGBT, etc. Do I really want to use that term? Sure. The young LGBT, etc. And the older generation due to, you know, things like the, uh, Reagan administration. I just blame, I, bleh, I just blame President Ronald Reagan for literally everything wrong in the world. At least my world. And I'm Canadian. That's not even at all. Oh, what? What is? What is? I really, really love these colors. Ooh, wow. They're bright and ridiculous. I still feel like a dick using this palette as my mirror, but it was on hand. I'm too poor to flex. I just also really liked this palette, and then I discovered that Sephora in the Eaton... Not the Eaton Center. Fuck the Eaton Center. The Sephora in the uh, rich chunk of downtown actually just carried these in stock physically like right there and I was like oh well I guess it's time to be irresponsible with my uh, Christmas bonus this is really loud for late daytime be god I'm so happy summer is like here I miss daylight this uh this this orange is kind of losing itself in 
everything and I there's the brush. Let's uh, let's revive things a little bit. How much do I care about blending this? How much do I care about the nightmare cavern of my eyes? I think really right now one of the best pieces of attempting vlogging equipment would just be like get goddamn contacts. Da 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 da. Let's stick glitter on this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in with this and we're gonna see what happens. It'll be fine probably. It's all kind of the same. That's that's cute. It's not as orange as I would hope, actually. It's fine. It's it's whatever. Also, that jawbone joke at the front of this video. That's actually just a fact of my father. It's just there. And now you know. Now you know something about my family. Hmm. What does this need? This needs something under the eyes to just sort of bring it all together. We're just gonna be extremely lazy. I'm gonna take the brush I was using. Yeah, I look like a demented raccoon. Raccoon eyes, because I'm in Toronto. Yeah, I think I, I, should, I should I should stop. I should stop fussing with these eyes quite so much at this point because I keep misplacing brushes. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to stop fussing with these eyes because frankly I don't really think there's much else I need to do except probably take a se oh wow that's rough. There's a lot I need to do. Fuck Ronald Reagan. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This is cute. It very desperately needs mascara though. And I don't know if I want pink or not pink. Black or red? Red would be super cute. Let's do mascara before doing something dumb. Nothing matters. And it, this, these do need like, these eyes do super duper, super duper need something. This mascara smells awful, but it works really well for, you know, I really, really, oh god, why, are, why can't I do my lower lashes right now? Ugh. Oh good, you can, you can absolutely see this horrible white, what does this do? What is this? Uh, why is that the mascara face? Why do I do that? Like I said, I really think, I think red would look super cute here. But I don't have red mascara because I spent all my money on a queer craft fair and now I don't have any to bulk order ColourPop mascaras. Get big lashes, cover up your mistakes. Wow. Except for the mistakes where you inevitably just kind of jam mascara right into your brow bone because... God is cruel. Cheeks. 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 We're gonna continue this thing I have with uh, brightly colored fake freckles and add not brightly colored fake freckles. It's kind of a purple. It's purple in direct sunlight. Why does it not have it? What oh, Nick, why have you done this to me? Wait. 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 Because light refracts weird through glasses. Oh, I don't like what my voice did there. <clears throat> because light refracts weird through glasses and I want to not look as crazy as I could. I want to look intentionally crazy. Yikes. Ugh. Hubris and the right. Everything is fine. Nothing really matters. This is too fat. Come on, come on. I just realized I also did not foundation my nose at all as much as I should. Just this little. Just get it, get it in there. Get it, get it in there. Press so hard, it's getting in your sinuses, because frankly, what's the point otherwise? That's cute. That's cute. That's better. I like that. It's fun! Blush. I do actually think blush would still be a good idea, which is not something I expected to say. Oh, 
objectively, I'm realizing I should have done the blush before. Let's just, just go ham on those, actually. I don't even think it's showing up in video. I want that further in. Oh, that's definitely on video now. I look... Frankly, about as crazy in person and on camera, I think. Probably. I wanna be a bottle blonde. I don't know what I feel gone. Heavy blush. I'm not shy about looking. Kind of sunburned, I guess. I feel like I had some talking point left to make. Intergenerational queer conversations. Because the queer history is regularly destroyed by, uh, both the active malice of heterosexuals like Ronald Reagan and the AIDS crisis, and that's just a thing. That's just a looming specter which hangs heavy over all of our heads. I guess also the hetconning of history, because why would a historical figure be gay? Why would anybody be gay? I'm like completely blind right now, just kind of staring at myself in a mirror I have positioned right here. And I don't know what I fucked up. Blah. Oh, oh, I need to touch up these freckles now. Like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I don't like this formula though. This is not, this is not a good, it's not a blush formula I like or appreciate, but you know, it's free. Quotation marks. It's not even, oh, it's free. It just happens to be the same color as my favorite blush. But also, I haven't dropped it like five times, so it's not an apocalyptic disaster. Let's see if I can actually edit this video in like a short period of time and then post it on YouTube. Oh no. That's too much. Ooh, that's rough. At, at this point, I think I could probably just get away with that one specifically sucks but it's cheap lipstick so it doesn't really stay does it nope i'm excited to go listen to a bunch of like older gays talk about their life experience and gain perspective on why my existence as a younger queer folk in the modern day and age is better than theirs. But in a lot of ways it's still terrible because whatever the fuck America's doing right now, wow, it's, it's really hard to keep track, quite frankly. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Setting spray. And I kind of feel like this needs a lip, but I don't really want to... Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Thanks. Thanks me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Learning is good. Support local queer establishments. Drink more water. Drink some water right now. Unclench your jaw.